Lebanon doğru. Today we are going to have a look at Invar. Invar is a special alloy uh, which contains iron nickel elements. Uh, its name comes from an English word in, which is inviable. Inviable means like stable, constant. So as we understand from that point, Invar has some uh, properties which is uh, which are stable and constant and so on. So that's our subject. Our subject is Invar. As I said before, Invar contains iron and nickel, so we are supposed to add iron and nickel in chemical formula. Chemical formula is iron, nickel, and our special number 36. 36 here. Uh, it represents the amount of nickel in Invar alloy. So, as you see, it's very high. If we consider price of nickel, so it's very price element. As you know, it's you know it's, it fluctuates around eighteen thousand and five hundred dollar per ton. So, we we do need to have a reason to have such high amount of nickel. So. That's my demonstration. I will show you. I will draw you a graph. This our x-axis represent, represents the percentage of nickel. This our y-axis represents the uh, rate of thermal expansion. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, and one hundred. The years, years ago, and in nineteen and nineteen twenty, they got a Nobel Prize for that alloy. So, before that, they, before that time, the scientists, as they did, as they made their research. They came came across with that idea, with that result. In fact, here there's a dip that represents thirty-six. I wrote here thirty-six. If you can't see that from there, uh, as you see, guys, from that graph, as you increase the amount of nickel then you get the low, lower thermal expansion rate but until until one point what's that, that point? it's 36 percentage percent nickel so for example that's our A point if we add uh, less nickel for example 20% that's our B point as you see B, B is bigger than A so as we as we increase the amount of nickel we get the higher mm, <coughs> sorry lower thermal expansion rate but until what point until 36 after 36 if we increase the amount of nickel such as if we add 60 percent nickel in our alloy let's show with a red pen you see, again, the thermal expansion rate went up. So that's why 36 is the special number for us. As we understand from here, the Invar, Invar has many proper properties uh, like other alloys, such as uh, higher corrosion resistance or hardness, something like that. But that makes it Invar, which is uh, the lowest thermal expansion rate, which other alloys do, uh, uh, don't have that low low thermal expansion. So if I give you some example, now I would like to give you some. Uh, examples 
uh, where we use Invar. Most Invar is used in high-tech technology, uh, such as in satellites or measuring optic measuring systems, something like that. So, for instance, we use Invar in TV. I said before measuring systems such as microscope vice versa telescope and final example is electronic circuits For example, I said electronic circuits. I would like to draw a picture for you. If you probably so so far you saw many electronic circuits such as in your computer or a radio, you will see tiny materials like this. Soldered, soldered tiny materials and some other items we are not supposed to see. We are not supposed to know actually, but we do need to know which materials we need. For example, just imagine that hey, you you need an you need a uh, alloy which which will be used in like in more than 200 degree hot environment, such as in you will send a satellite to the sky and you need that alloys. So, but which uh, what you need is uh, the low thermal expansion because you are working hot environment. So the alloy needs to be uh, alloy, alloy needs to have uh, the low thermal expansion. For example, let's take two points from there. That's our picture. If that if that alloy or if that material if if it doesn't have the low thermal expansion, I mean, if it uh, when it when it is exposed by the very high environment, if it uh, expands, if it expands, so for example, when we increase the temperature. They will expand and they will touch each other. So short circuits. So that means we need a alloy which uh, we can use in hot environments and something like that. Those this our example, guys. I this is just an example. I just try to picture it, and maybe then now you can imagine what I'm talking about. Like like something like that short circuits if they touch each other so so today uh, we studied invar which contains iron and nickel but high amount of nickel because if you know the stainless steels even they don't have such high amount 36 i hope you enjoyed my lesson uh, see, see you next time if you want to see my other videos you can uh, go to my website which is www dot kenandor.com you can see my weekly weekly uh, classes courses or sometimes i publish monthly uh, see you next time